Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to our Mellow. Uh, Steam Early Access just came out, and uh, I've been I've been looking at this game for a while. Missed the Kickstarter, and uh, th there are some kind of unfortunate things that are going to come as a result of this. But this is a turn-based strategy game, kind of like uh, as though it were a board game, and it's got a single-player game mode, which I think is really just kind of playing through things uh, as though you were playing multiplayer, but against bots. Or you could do a, uh, a team game with friends and stuff. So. I guess there's also going to be a leaderboard. Anyway, hello. So you get to select a character. Man, these are well painted. I mean, say what you will about like furry art versus not furry art, but like, truly I don't even think of this as furry art so much as just Redwall. And you know what, I grew up with Redwall and Redwall's awesome. All right, so, uh, Sana is apparently like a druid, not very good at fighting. Amber is a scout with apparently a parasol. Mercutio is, I mean, effect, effectively a thief, and Thane is the Swordmaster. So I think we're going to play as Thane just because, I don't know, he's a warrior character, and I like warrior characters. Sword cards burned in battle cannot be blocked by opponent's defenses. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. And I guess we get Sapphire. These are locked. Okay, so I unlock these other things. Oh, interesting. So these are all locked to me until I complete more of the game. And uh, each each hero has like different starting stuff. So I guess this just gives me one action point at night. I'm not actually sure if these give me more action points at night or exactly how it works. Either way, uh, gain one spirit, wits, body, or fight. And then there's also dig, watch, favor, and spoil. So we're going to go with uh, scratch so we get the extra fighting. And I... I'm talking as though I know what I'm doing here. I don't. At all. From the rat to the bear, the clans declare, the time has come to take the throne. The, for the rot's creeping, it twists our king and threatens the land of Armello. Oh, nice. So it's got kind of like a 3D hand-painted feel to it. All right. So looks like you get to play as one of four character races type things. And I know there's like one faction that's locked away by, uh, like, so it's exclusive to Kickstarter backers only for the time being. I think they're actually giving you access later on, but, uh, for the time being, I, A, don't even know how to do that, and B, eh, who cares? I'm just gonna play the game because it looks pretty fun and very beautiful. Anyway, the forest deep. Your journey has begun, but someone knows. Someone or something has been following you. Lose them in the Ashgrave Forest. Alright, so this is actually a tutorial. So... I guess the point is, get over here, do I have to sl select my character? How do I move? Oh! You can only move one one space at a time. Anyway, Kingdom of Armello. Kingdom of Armello is defined by tiles denoting different terrain types. Plains, basic terrain, no effect. Forest provides stealth at night. Mountains, minus two action points to climb. But provides one bonus shield in battles. Settlements, gentlemen... Settlements gentlemen. No. Settlements generate one gold per dawn when claimed. Swamps causes minus one health from sickness. Flies and hard going. Ooh. Okay. Stone circles regain one health in these mystical groves. And dungeons are filled with uh, treasures, banes, and more. And our king creeps clo closer to death. All heroes have received dawn income. The race for the throne has begun. So I guess the entire point is... Like, the king is dying, and we're trying to take the throne, I guess. Well, either way, to the woods with us. All right. The forest, tall and dark, envelops you. you sense, your sense is alert. The intermittent scuttering behind you does not go unnoticed. You wait for just the right moment, and... Oh, we actually get some, uh... We actually get some options here. Well, I'm going to go with a fight, just because... Uh, let's see. Definitely strike an incoming projectile, an axe thrown from afar, thunks harmlessly into a nearby tree. Its owner, a fox black as obsidian, is quick to flee, but not before accidentally dropping her gold pouch. Alright, so... Uh, I guess that worked out. That's kind of nice, so, uh, uh, like, you get multiple options there with different effects. I wonder what would happen if we did other stuff. Oh well. Uh, uh, the Red Thorn, an assassin has been hired by a rival clan to end your life. The famed Red Thorn of the Rat Clan. Whatever he has planned, it will happen within the walls of this village. So I guess our goal is to go that direction. Well, no reason to uh, 
Slow down. Now, how many action points do I have? Only one per turn? Looks, oh yeah, AP1. So now I actually have to actively end my turn. And so this is Mercutio. So, I, I guess the way it works is there are four different heroes that you have available to you. And you get to, like, move around. Much like a board game. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Of course, I have no idea where Amber is. But, I guess our entire goal is to reach the center board? Looks like the map is pretty small. I wonder what the point is. Also, there's like a King's Garden. Wow, Sauna is massive in comparison to everybody else. Okay. Well. Let's see. You actually get to see kind of what's going on. Hello. Oh, the king is slowly dying, of course. And there's also that thing. Okay. Banes. Banes seek to terrorize and feed upon settlements, unclaiming any they reach and laying waste to anything in their path. A Bane's Rot increases by one every night. Banes will regain one health for every character they kill. Banes receive a bonus die at night. Slaying a Bane is a prestigious deed, but beware, dying to a Bane will result in plus one Rot. Banes look like vultures. Alright. Well, that's... freaky nonsense. So I guess we have a couple of options here. Fight the Bane, or... Fight the Bane. Well, I still have four AP. Alright, you know what? I'm... Encountering Peril. Hello. Play to settlements. Alright. Perils are cards played as traps to, to the map by heroes or the king. Perils will test one of two stats, depending on the card in question. Trickery perils test wits and skill. Um, oh, test wits. And spell perils will test spirit, the spirit stat. To successfully resist a peril, you will need to match the perils resist symbols with symbols from your own Armello dice. A peril's difficulty or resist level is represented by the number of symbols, symbol matches required. Burning cards is an excellent strategy to help ba pass nasty perils. Note, it is impossible that a peril may require more simple matches than your hero has dice. Oh, it is possible, not impossible. Ooh, that could be bad. All right, so I need to get, I guess, th these three? I'm running out of time, so how do, how do I, how do I do, how do I what? Oh, oh, I roll these dice. Okay. Because I'll figure that out. They really don't explain this as aptly as I thought. Oh, either way, we've got two of them. And he steals two of my cards. Oh, that is that is frustrating. I still got a little bit more. Sana, you jerk. Oh, well. We'll learn that for next time, and now we're going to go off and fight a Bane, which is probably a terrible idea, but whatever. Okay, when doing battle, both parties roll a number of dice equal to their fight stat. You cause damage to your opponent by securing more attack dice than their defense dice. Should the combatant who causes the most damage survive, they will win the battle. If the attacker wins the battle, they will advance and take the tile, pushing the defender back. If a combatant takes enough damage to deplete their health, they will be killed, ending their turn and sending them back to their clan castle. Okay. Well, this is kind of cool. So it's like sort of a card game, sort of a not card game. Anyway, I'm really in dice. Wild tree explodes, granting attack and bonus... Uh, attack and rolls a bonus die. Sun grants an attack when rolled during the day. Moon attack during the night. Sword grants an attack. Shield grants defense. Worm counts as a miss. All right. So it looks like I have seven dice to his whatever, and I have allies packed. I don't know what that is, so we're just gonna start by rolling our dice and see what, seeing what happens. So I get a crazy amount of attack and. Zero defense whatsoever, but I'd proceed to beat the tar out of the thing at the very least. How much health do I have? Does it say, did I win? I assume I won. Where's my health? Oh, my health is three out of four. But I did, I did get the, uh, the rot down. All right. So I'm still, now I have a couple of options here. I'm a little bit injured. I can go to the dungeon or I can go to the town. Let's go to the dungeon just because. See what happens. All right, exploring dungeons can be very dangerous or very profitable exercise. Dungeons are the best sources of treasured gold and wandering followers, but beware, sleeping horrors also haunt these ancient tombs. Exploring a dungeon is an automatic process activated by entering a dungeon tile. The chances of successful outcomes when exploring dungeons can be improved by equipping appropriate items and followers, and the odds uh, and the odds and quantities of rewards vary from day to night. Well, did anything happen there? Okay, I found that thing. Let's go to town. I apparently pissed off a, a Bane while I was there. Anyway, 
Let's see. As you walk the bustling streets of the village, you can sense a shadow where none should be. You look left and right. The town guards are gone. Nowhere to be seen. All right, so I can use the wild to lose myself in a nearby crowd, duck into an alley, try and lose the pursuer. Or let's, uh, what are, what are our stats? Okay, so we've got three spirit, three wits, a lot of fight. What's body? Oh, we've got three of each. All right, well, in that case, let's test wits. And we get, okay, you calmly enter the closest tavern and take a seat near the door. When the assassin enters, you're already prepared. He barely even has time to scream as you quickly surprise him and end his life. We get one gold and one of whatever the crap that is. Uh, prestige, okay. Prestige is the key to holding political sway in the kingdom of Armello. Each dawn, the king will call upon the prestige leader to advise him on that day's king's declaration. Additionally, should the king die of his illness, the prestige leader will be named his rightful heir to the throne, winning the game. Alright, so I guess the main point is survive the game and get as much prestige as possible. Rot is the ultimate corruption, flirt with dark arts, or lead an unsavory life, and you too might feel the dark rip of the gr dark grip of the rot. Heroes with rot first become infected. Continued dedication to this dark path will see them become corrupted. Ooh, that's interesting. Then we've got uh, magic and gold. I'll lead the way. Completed a quest and gained that stuff. And maybe a merchant guild? A collection, uh, a collective of the most powerful merchants from across the land are interested in helping you claim the throne. Attend their meeting in this mountain pass and convince them you are worthy of their allegiance. Okay. And unfortunately, I'm out of AP, so I'm going to have to rest. Well, this is interesting. And since I'm in a town, I'm actually going to get my one health back. Now, for whatever reason, this guy's losing gold left and right for some mysterious reason. Not entirely sure why or how, but all right. And it looks like settlements, you capture them. And in owning them, you get to have um, extra gold as a result or something. Also, that's what the swamp looks like. And she gets to heal herself, and she gets plague? And then she attacks me. This seems like a poor idea, especially because I've got seven dice to her, too. She does have a lot of cards. She robbed me of many. So I think this is a great point for me to beat the tar out of her in, in vengeance. I might even be able to take out all of her health if I roll my dice right. Anyway, I could burden cards. I don't have any. Either way, uh, burning cards. Burning cards is in both perils and battle secures dice outcomes, making it a core strategy to winning the game. Every card features one of the six Armenian... See, this would have been way way more useful when I ran into that pe peril and it's like, you're ticking down, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Anyway, uh, every card features one of those symbols in the top right corner. I drag and drop a card onto the burnout timer before it runs out in order to guarantee one of your dice results in that card's Armello symbol. Okay, so I have allies packed. I'm gonna drag that up there, and then we're going to do this. Give me a little bit of defense, and then we get Worm, and multiple defense. So no matter what she does, she doesn't get by me. And that ends the turn, but I think I win. Yeah! Suck it, bear chick. I'm gonna go after her next turn, because if I can kill her, something happens. Maybe. Maybe I get my shit. Okay, King's Declarations. Every dawn the King will put forward two declarations to the most prestigious leader. The hero must select one of these two declarations. Once selected, this declaration is announced to all the other animals in Armillo and becomes law until next dawn. Tip, being the prestige leader and in control of the King's Declarations Pass, uh, being and in control of the which King's Declarations Pass into law is a powerful and favorable position to be in. And so... Why is Sauna? Tax time! Taxes are due. Everyone pay the king two gold. Can't pay? Lose one prestige. Well, at the very least, it does penalize Sauna as well. But not me. Also, uh... Oh, there are little descriptions at the top that I've kind of missed. These regal hounds may be legendary, but they kneel only to the king. Every dawn the king's guard patrols the kingdom of Armello. Police settlements and pursue bounties and put down banes. At the start of the game... The king's guards are neutral and will generally ignore heroes and protect settlements in the kingdom, but the king's guards can be mobilized by the king to hunt down and execute heroes. King's guards receive a bonus die during the day and are equipped with a signature weapon, a hare's halibur halberd. Killing a king's guard will cost you cost your hero one prestige. Why would you ever, like, how would you even get a bounty? 
Weird. Well, playing perils. Uh, playing perils. Armello is a core mechanism to hindering and undermining the actions of other heroes on their quest to the throne. Most spell and trickery cards can be played as perils. To play a peril to the map, you will need to have the resources to play the card, gold or magic in most cases, and select a valid target for the peril. Grab the card you wish to play and drag it to the tile you want to play the peril to. Wait until the card pulses and then release the card. All right, unfortunately, oh, hey, I get to draw new cards. So I could get, uh, select three cards to fill my hand. So we're gonna go with item, we get a shield. Uh, and we'll get a spell. All right. So I forgot to go with this way. Battle enemies have minus two fight. See you next turn. All right. And then I'm gonna take her out if I can manage it. Because if I can do enough damage and, and take her down, we have uh, far less to worry about. Now we've got trusty shield. How do I use this? I don't want to burn it. Oh, I see. I might have I might have burnt it there. I'm not wholly clear on exactly what happened there. Either way. I do five damage. She has no shields, so I take her down, but she does get us for one damage. Which is unfortunate, but I think we I think we actually killed her. Killed her. Either way. Well, she just passes out at our feet. Oh god, her eyes didn't despawn properly. Spirit stones are ancient, sought-after items of wild energy. Life essence existing without living form. By questing, exploring, and adventuring around the land, you can collect spirit stones. Should you bring four spirit stones to the king's throne room, you will purge the king of the rot and save the kingdom of Armello. Winning the game. All right. And I must, uh, okay, I must have gotten one of those for beating the tar out of her. And I actually had one to begin with. Cool. By the way, let's go to this town. I have one more AP, so we have a couple of options here. I am very injured, though. So I'm gonna use... Can I use this on myself? How do I use a spell? On myself. Character shelf, inventory shelf. Like, oh, hey, artist Simon Boxer, so that they actually give credit. Oh, wait. Play to hero. Oh, I have to wait until... There we go. I ca cast one, but gain two health. And I still have one AP, so I could go after this peril, but I think I'm going to wait in the village. Actually, no, I can go to this, can't I? Or not yet. Oh, I don't have enough time. Well, either way, I'm just going to end my turn, wait in the town, get my health back, and feel better. I feel like he's just going to be running around laying all sorts of traps. And he's going to tick on the dungeon. Which apparently gets him a, war uh, a rot. I guess that did not work out well for him. And I think the thing is, we're going to have the most amount of prestige here. Could be wrong. I wish there was like a leaderboard across the map for me to find. But, uh, oh well, it should work. Well enough. Just trying to think tactics, considering I barely... She's just fighting me again. What is up with you? Oh, and apparently mirror image is... Uh... I have four dice. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, I'll just deal with it. I don't think she's going to be able to take me out, though. But we'll see. So I get two. Oh, crap. Oh, but I get one defense. Okay, so I'm going to live through this one. Never mind. Not going to. She's going to kill me. What a jerk. Overkilled me by one. I guess there I go. Well, and now I lose one prestige for this happening, right? Does Do I lose anything else? Yeah, I lost one prestige, and she gets my settlement, and she gets a soul stone. Now, do I still have two? Nope, I only have one. Okay. Uh, at night, the spells casters... Uh, Knight, a spellcaster's alley. Can you feel the wild course through you? Magic and spellcasting. Most heroes on their quest for the throne will lean upon their spellcasting abilities, no matter how limited. In almost all cases, spell cards are cast using a hero's magic resource. Each dusk, all heroes' magic levels are reset to match that of their spirit stat. Spell cards are also limited by range of their power of the caster's spirit stat, i.e. heroes' 
A hero with a spirit of three will have a sp spell range of three tiles. And unfortunately, my character sheet is uh, in the way. I don't know how to get this out of the way either. Oh, I can click this. All right. Well, those things are coming out of everywhere. Dude, poor Mercutio. I almost feel bad for him. Not really. Either way, though. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go for items of plenty. And she's still in my town, but I oh, group of druids. You approach the stone circle and the druids detect your attention towards three symbols carved in the rock. Their leader seems to be waiting for your choice. Spirit, stone, wild tree, or scythe. Um... Not sure. I don't know if I can maximize my health. The spirit stones aren't a bad idea. Let's go with that and see what happens. So I guess I get a spirit stone. So if I can go back and kill that druid chick, we'll be in a really good spot. Let's see. I'm trying to decide. Should I go for it? Nah, let's go hide in the woods. I want to take her out because she's going to go for my town. And what can I do? Fight and wits, mirror image. Uh, ooh, that's kind of brutal, actually. Yeah, we're going to use mirror image. Screw you guys. So what this does is this makes everybody else slightly worse at fighting for their next turn, which pretty much is going to screw up Mercutio, unless he can unless he can get out of this uh, pretty sticky situation. Wow, he's got a lot of cards, though. But... You know, oh, but he gets taken out in the process. Perfect. All right. Dirty tactics abound. Seems to have worked out well for me. And... Amber's almost dead as well, but she's nowhere near any combat. But if she goes for the dungeon, that might not be a good idea. Oh, no, she actually gets the prestige, and she's probably going to be the leader for this one, considering uh, the bear chick and I have pretty much been duking it out with each other and I constantly. And she goes in there and comes after me. Ooh, might not be a good plan. We'll see what happens. Right, because I've got... I've got mirror image, so... Fight a six, and I do have this. Yeah. Oh, I see. Let's just roll our dice. She's only got f two fight cubes, so I can probably just take her out. I should have more than enough defense here. Come on. Damage? Damage. Alright, she's going downtown. And she doesn't even get through my shields. Alright, I get all my shit back. What a jerk. All right, so we do have to be a little bit cautious of her just because she can come back, but I think I get another spirit stone, don't I? Yeah, I got three now. All right, so if I can get one more, uh, if I can get one more, probably by fighting her, then we're all good. Of course, we got to get there. Now, Armello is a race to claim the throne by completing one of four win conditions before the other heroes on the board. Your strategy to achieve this is up to you, though you will often need to change strategies as the game's climate demands it. So, Kingslayer. Huh, you can kill the king. Spirit's down. Uh, spirit stone. Four spirit stones. And uh, click on the king to purge the rot from Armello. Uh, rot victory. Enter the palace, face the king in battle with a rot higher than his own. Kill him in battle. You must survive the encounter. And prestige victory. Uh, prestige leader when the king dies of his rot infection. How close is he to death? Probably not for a little while. Hey, I am the leader. All right, so peace treaty. No battle between heroes until dawn. Lose all prestige if you defy the king. And... I'm going to go with peace treaty on this one. Which technically might screw me up, but I want to go for that merchant's thing. Because that seemed pretty cool. And this way we can use... Maybe we can use hot red wine. I'm not clear on whether or not that would be a good idea. Not either way. Uh, I'm going to go with spells. Uh, two health. The start of your next two turns. All right. And apparently my hand limit is three. So now we've got only three to get there. Oh, but we do have nighttime. So let's actually grab this 
and head here. Encountering Apparel. So, play to Forest Mountains, minus one health and... Oh, shoot. Alright. Oh. I see. Uh, do I have the Lion Face? I got the Lion Face. Don't have anything else, so I guess I just have to rely on my dice for this one, which is very unlikely to work out in my favor. For the moon, just one more. Damn worm. Oh, I still get hit by it. I thought that was going to be like a monster or something. Well, no benefit for me, and I lose one health. Dang. For whatever reason, I assumed going in there would mean, uh... Well, that's nuts. Uh, I, I thought that would mean, like, combat or something. I, I've been playing too many other games. And... Oh, well, it's no big deal. I'm just trying to think, because all I need is one more soul stone. So really what I need to do is... Uh... If I can, take out Bear Lady one more time. It's kind of hard. But... Take out one more person and we get, our, we get ourselves a victory. And if not, if we lose, who cares? Not the end of the world. I would like to go into those mountains, though. And she does bark skin, which heals her, and she steals my town. That's okay. I'm probably not in that big of need. Of... I don't think I need it that much. What is his rot score? Four, and he has... Uh, he's grown him on health. Oh, hello. Is he going to come after me? No, he's going to ignore me. All right, so in that case, let's go with the item. Recharge one, two, mat. Uh, one magic. How's her health doing? Eh, not great. So what we're going to do, go into the mountains. Let's see about this thing. So, play the mountains. So we need face and shield, and I got neither. Well, dice are plenty. Let's see see what we get. All right, so all we need is a shield. Did I? Nope. There's a... Oh, it was Amber's Blizzard. What a jerk. All right, so I'm going to use regeneration on myself, too, because I'm running out of health, and I want to get... I want to get back onto that mountain. Can I? Ah, I can. All right. The Merchant's Guild. You enter an expertly built hall carved right into the rock of the mountains. Clearly, this world-famous Merchant's Guild of Armello. Clearly. Uh, okay. Clearly, this is the world. Okay, clearly, this is the world-famous. Inside, the most powerful merchants of all the kingdom will wait. All right. So I can slay them. Uh, prestige. Or yeah, prestige. Let's see see how this goes. I've got four, and so we get we get stuff for it. What else do we get? We've got rangers, king's caravan, a wagon full of gold travels the plain. Tribute to the mad king from all across Armello. See to it that the wagon never reaches the castle, so the throne may further be weakened. That doesn't seem good. We also get rangers. Scout hex and adjacent hexes until the end of your turn. Okay. Now the problem is I don't have anything. Hmm. I'm just hoping that Bane doesn't come after me, because otherwise we might run into some trouble. Well, here's hoping. Because I just realized we plonked ourselves right on the mountains where we can totally get attacked. Oh, you can get those spirit things from dungeons. All right, that gives us a bit of an option if we want to hang out there. And I get clonked. Damn it. Now, does that cost me a spirit shard? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm not dead, but uh, I'm a bit pissy. Oh. She's looking vulnerable, though. Yeah, so if I can get in there and take her out... Oh, nope, nope, never mind. She's dead. I was really hoping I could do that. Well, we have a couple of options. Go after the Bane, go after other stuff. And who's the prestige leader? Probably not me. Oh, it's still me. Wow. Really? We've got five turns to win. So, uh... Let's see. These are items, right? Yeah, they are. I'm going to go with Confiscation. So I'm going to give up Moon Juice. Okay. Did I... I lost my prestige for that. Shoot. All right. Well, uh, we already know about this, but... I clearly didn't know what I did. Well, either way, lost two prestige for that one. 
I guess I'll learn learn how to do that one better in the future. Now I've got I've only got three AP, so I think we're just gonna beeline for we're gonna beeline for that dungeon because if I can fight that Bane, we'll be in a good position. Moon juice isn't particularly useful, and let's use Rangers. Costs me nothing. Doesn't look like it cuts anything useful for us. Well, let's go here. Maybe the Bane will come after us. Maybe we'll kill the Bane. And if we can kill the Bane and get a Spirit Stone, then we win. Of course, if we don't get that, or we die, or something, I don't freaking know, but you know what? Whatever. No big deal. But I don't think I'm getting my prestige back. I really wanted to get rid of Moon Juice and Hot Red Wine, but, uh, well, oh well. Not the end of the world. The other thing is, can I kill Mercutio? Ooh, he only has one health left. Oh, but he's probably gonna sack himself on the Bane. So I would have to go... Oh, I might actually be able to do this. I was thinking I might be able to go over the Bane and kill him. Or not over the Bane. I might be able to go over the mountains and kill him. It would take me a couple of AP, but it, I could probably do it. That would work out well for us. The other thing is we could potentially... Or she just comes to take us on, which is concerning. Alright. He's not looking good. Well, he goes after Mercutio. So, let's uh, scratch that one off the list. Man, that would have made life easier. At least it took out the Bane for me, so I could raid the dungeon if I wanted to, instead of fighting What's-Her-Face. Hmm. She's there. All right, I'm just gonna load up on items, which, damn, that's not what I needed. All right, so options are plenty. I got four AP now, so I could go fight her. It's tempting. We get the moon card. So we don't want to use the hot red wine, because that, that costs us one. Like, I really want to try and take her out. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. She's probably ready and waiting in the wings to fight me here, but maybe she's not. Alright, so I'm going to use... Oh. I've been... Oh, I was ambushed by the hero, so I can't use my cards. But I totally knew she was there. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just beat the tar out of her. Assuming she doesn't get any defense dice, so she dies. I should get that I should get that soul stone or whatever it's called. I don't think she even got to do damage to me. Alright, so this is working out well in my favor. Did it, did I get another soul thing? Damn. No, I didn't. Alright, to the dungeon. Gold. That's not what we need. Can I come back? Possibly. Or I could go to this dungeon. Hello. Entering the royal palace is a dangerous affair. Firstly, the palace is surrounded by four difficult palace perils, which will test your wits or spirit. Failing the king's peril will kick you out of the palace. Any moves made into the palace will consume all of your remaining action points. The king will call the king's guards to war should any hero make an attempt to enter the palace. Well, we're not doing that yet. We're going after this dungeon. Give me a spirit stone. Damn. Oh, okay. Lucked out there for a bit. Got plenty of money, but... Not a whole lot else. Well, either way, I'm just going to run between dungeons for the time being. Because if I can get one soul shard, stone, whatever you want to call it, then we're golden. I like this. This is really interesting. I'm really hoping that they add more to this game. And, of course, this is early access, mind you. But I could actually see this being really fun with friends. Because, like, as it stands, yeah, I'm just seeing these guys as opponents eponymous enemies. So in this case, losing would be frustrating and annoying, because it's like, well, you know, me losing is just me getting taken out by dumb AI, and you know what? Nobody should be rooting for the AI. She's kind of coming my direction. Uh, no, looks like she's avoiding me. Oh, you know what? And I'm not the prestige leader. leader. Alright, no big deal. So what? Are we going to lose today? Something's happening to the bands across the land. All bands are way more powerful. All right, that is concerning. Because I think I'm directly next to one. Nope, I'm not. Okay, that makes my life easier. Okay. Let's see. Now, we've, we've got our items here, but I'm not terribly keen on using any of them. So I want to use them in a challenge instead. Something. Can I use one of these on like a tile? Nope. Cause I don't. I don't want to use that card because it will hurt me. 
So what we're gonna do is one, two, three, one. Yeah, that's about all we can do. We're just gonna beeline for this dungeon. Hope hope we can get that spirit shard. Cause I get that, we're golden. What is that? I found nothing. All right, screw it. We're just gonna use the hot red wine. Might or might not be a good idea, but I'm gonna do it. Cause I want, I really want that one spirit shard. Cause then we're good. Then we win. Instead, we seem to be getting loads and loads of bunny. Well, that that's also a thing. And the moon juice isn't particularly useful for us. I wish he could recycle cards, but uh, can't do that either. Well, I'm only down down one health, so I should be fine. I hello. Target loses one health for each AP spent. So he cast that somewhere on the floor. On the not floor, somewhere on the ground. Also, it looks like he's rotting away. Which is interesting. Also, it looks like those event blocks, most people seem to be avoiding. So either event, uh, the event hexes, you know, there are specific, like, um, oh shoot, they, uh, Amber has very minimal health, so if I could kill her. Oh, she murdered Amber with a lightning strike, but since it was a spell card and not a... Oh, that's interesting. So since it was a spell card and not an anything else, uh, she doesn't get the... She doesn't get the spirit shards. How's the king doing? Not so great. He's dying slow. Just... Trying to think of like how to properly do this. Wow, those king's guards are ridiculous. I cannot imagine it would be a particularly fun thing to try and fight them. All right, so I could get. Uh, I'm gonna go with a spell. Minus one rot. It's not particularly useful for us unless we use it on Captain Rat Rathbone over here. But I doubt he's gonna. Uh, you know what? I'll use it on him. Because he might be pursuing a rot victory, and that means I can finally use the moon juice. I've got four AP, so let's beeline back for the dungeon. Ow. How did I take damage from that? Well, either way. Gonna use the wild sap on myself, as we'll go up to full. I'm not sure what's out here that will, uh... Oh! He poisoned me or something. Alright, either way, I get Helm of Heroes, and it's apparently equipable. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm actually going to use this. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, so I now have that equipped. Okay, I didn't know there was permanent equipment stuff in this game. I guess I've learned that lesson now. But yeah, he used his ability to... Sap my... Oh, jeez. He just murdered Santa. Ouch. But, um, probably makes him prestige, prestige leader, too. Oh, but he's coming for me. So that's an option. But, uh, yeah, you can equip items. So now now I know next time I get that king's degree, decree to uh, use that or not, depending on my equipment. But really, that's better to injure people that have, like, really good equipment. Huh. But yeah, no, I, I can imagine this being an absolute blast with friends and <laughs> Uh, it's, it's currently twenty dollars, and we'll go up to twenty-five when uh, you know the early access sale is over. But I could see this being a really fun game to pick up, like a four-pack for, on a Steam sale for, for cheap. Oh, he's got plenty of prestige. What's he gonna do? Please don't take away my spirit stones. Instead, every hero gains one point in rot. Balls. Guess I should have held on to my rot card. All right. Well, whatever. Let's see, Rot is a dark and malignant force. Not much is known about it apart from the fact that it hungers for life and consumes and twists all it touches. There are two stages of gaining Rot. Infected, you lose one health every dawn. In battle, creatures with a higher Rot level than yours, than your own, will gain your Rot as a bonus dice. Corrupted, at five points of Rot, you're fully corrupted, you retain the effects of being infected, and in addition, entering a stone circle will kill you. Worm dice now explode instead of wild dice. Also, Banes will no longer attack you. Oh, so that's what he's going for. Ah, but he only has one rot. Unfortunately, that means if I fight him, I'm going to have a, uh... I'm going to have a sort of penalty. Either way, I'm going to go with pretty much nothing but spells. Alright. Oh, I get another one. Um... Guess I should probably go with an item. And... That... 
is another weapon for me. Don't have any party members, though, but that's okay. Don't think I need them. So do you have... Oh, he does. Do I have enough? Yes. Okay, so I can probably take him out. Let's see. Now, I've only got enough for one spell, as far as I can tell. Ah, oh, can't even do that one. Well, in that case, I'm going to glamour the crap out of him. Steal one card randomly from him. What do I get? Please be an item. He had nothing in his hand, did he? Balls. Well, I don't take damage, so as long as I live through this one, please don't hurt me. I get gold. Now let's go kick the tar out of him. Because if, if I can kill him and get a spirit stone, then we are in a good position. I've also got my random equipment. Alright, so we're gonna use this one. Get an extra damage dice in here. And let's hope we can kill him instead of him killing us. Alright, I overkilled him, and I should get a Spirit Stone for this. He didn't even do damage to me. Bam! Alright, did that? Yes! Alright, so I can go cure the king on my next turn, assuming I make it there. Of course, unfortunately, I think uh, Bear Lady is going to come beelining for me because she knows I'm going to win. Because this game is fairly public about when you're going to win or not. How's his rot doing? Still four. Okay. He's losing... Oh, okay, why is he losing health left and right? Oh, it must have been a random challenge he went through. And he gets nothing for the dungeon. Sucks to be him. Yeah, I get the feeling everybody's going to not be beelining for me. Also, it looks like she's going for a rot victory, too. Oh, please don't come kill me. I like living. At least having the equipable armor and stuff helps substantially. Oh, she's not coming for me. Okay, that's good. Now... I've got the four things, right? Let's see. Is there... Is the bug sender game guide? And she kills herself... <laughs> she kills herself on the on the swamp. Well, lucky me. And it's nighttime. It doesn't look like we've got king guards. And... Okay, we got a Bane. Please don't come after me, Bane. Oh, nope, it's coming after me. Shit. Wait, but if we die, we might not lose our spirit stone. Which would be nice. All right. And I do actually get both of my weapons, so I'm actually in a really good position for fighting here. Don't want to use the worm dice. That is meaningless. All right, come on, shields. Give me some shields. A little bit more defense. Nope. I guess I'm just going to completely overkill this thing. Well, that's one way to win. Jeez, overkill four. I like Thane. Thane is fun. Of course, he's, like, probably the most basic character you can play as, but I'm hoping I can bring... I can bring this into the castle with me and win us the run. All right, so we get mirror image, throwing axe, and I'll get a trickery here, rangers. All right, now it's my turn, right? I'm going to go to the game guide. Game guide. Uh, let's see, the palace. Does that switch along? How do you do winning? Okay. Oh, winning the game. Here we go. Enter the palace with four. So as... Alright. Well, I have no idea exactly what's going to happen here, but let's give it a go. Let's see. Yeah, enter the palace. Wait, let's do... Do not enter just for a second. I do have the four sh stones. I'm going to just double check that it's four and not five. I think this is the case. Uh, spirit Stone Victory, four Spirit Stones, and click on the King. Okay, so I actually... Ah, oh man, he's going to go crazy while I try and get in here. All right, well, let's try it. Okay, Peril. So do I have shields or anything? I've got Sword. And... Lion. And then I have to rely on the rest. Shield and Moon! Yes! Alright! I've made it into the castle. I lucked out there. And do I get to click on the king? Is that the end of my turn? Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to wait, but I've entered the castle. So assuming he lives through this next section... Should be all good. I do have to say, there's some amount of concern about, um... 
everything here, considering. Uh, his guards are just going to immediately beeline for me, and that's terrifying. But if it, if it can be just my turn once more, we can live through the next turn, we're all good. But, man, you'd think, it's like, I'm bringing the cure to you, just don't attack me. Like, alright, the other two victories, you know, slaying the king and whatnot. But you'd think you could kind of parlay your way in with, like, I got spirit so stones aplenty. You know, please take them. Ow. Alright, uh... I guess everybody now has to deal with, uh, King's guards. Oh, good lord, this is going to suck. Maybe. As long as this guy doesn't come after me, I should be fine. Please be my turn. At least everybody else will fall victim to this. And I've got plenty of combat cards, so we got this going for us. It's just this one guy in front of the castle is going to be a serious problem for me. Oh, yep, here it comes. And I only have two hearts left. Okay. I really wish I could go for, like, pure defense, but all I have to do is withstand a little bit here. I don't really want to, want to do this. Just give me some defense. I, all I need is to live through this next attack. Come on. All right. I think we made it. I think I also killed him. Nope, he lives. All right. So I actually get to be the uh, good guy victor here. And I'm going to go with uh, nothing but spell cards. Which... Bark skin. Eh, I got magic, magic for it. I'm just going to do it just in case this turns out to be a terrible idea. Do I have any? I mean, I have one more. Can I boost up a... Oh, hey, I can boost up that peril difficulty. And... What? Did I... I win? Oh, Spirit Stone victory! What?! I killed the king with Spirit Stones! I'm like, here, take these! And he's like, alright! Hurt! And dies anyway. Probably looked horrible on the uh, microphone, but either way, that was brilliant! Alright, so, that was a bit of a let's play, let's try, let's whatever, of Armello. Very fun game, not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting something a little bit more, like, civilization -y. But instead, it's actually kind of interesting. It's it's simpler, but that means it can be played comparatively faster. And I'm really looking forward to, um... I'm really looking forward to being able to play this with people, because I can imagine getting, uh, really getting into it with friends. I really hope they add more than four heroes, though. Uh, just purely because each of the heroes has, you know, different pluses and minuses, so Thane is obviously the combat hero. You know, Mercutio is obviously the trickster, probably rot hero. Uh, the bunny lady is obviously for, you know, going into dungeons and stuff. And the bear chick is for, I don't know, casting spells at people from a distance. All of which, you know, kind of makes sense. But, uh, say if I'm playing multiplayer with friends, well, what if we all want to be the equivalent of Thane and stuff? Either way, though, I will see you guys on the next episode of Armello. And actually, no, I, I should probably just say uh, a couple more things uh, before I just go off into the sunset. So first and foremost, this game is $25 on Steam uh, right now. It's got online multiplayer already built into it, so you can play with your friends. Uh, this, I believe, is the majority of the core gameplay. Apparently, there's like a whole faction thing that's locked off currently to people that pre-ordered. I haven't found that one yet, so I'm going to go take a look, actually. I might as well go take a look at that now. Let's go to the main menu and see what happens. Alright, so we've got, like, create private game. See if anything changes. Alright, so we can set up players and stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna turn all of them onto AI. Uh, and ready up. Nope, doesn't look like I can create a custom game. So, there's gotta be some way of, like, accessing the other stuff, but I don't even know. Alright, most of the, uh... Most of the buttons and the options are pretty simple, but throughout the entirety of the gameplay, I never actually dropped below 60 frames a second, not even for a, for a moment. So, performance is pretty good, and go figure, it's a pretty basic game. But I like the visual style. The gameplay is interesting. The gameplay really makes me wish there was a, uh, a local multiplayer, actually. You know, like Hot Seat, so I can play with my family? Because if you could do that, that would be really fun. Of course, you know, then the whole cards thing would be moot. But there got be, there would have to be some way of doing it. But either way, 
if you like board games and you really don't get to play them a whole lot, I would highly recommend this to anybody. It's a very fun tactical game and it's got a lot of depth to it already. And it's, it's I think it's in beta at this point, but uh, it shows the promise of a lot more. And I would I would definitely recommend it at the very least at the like ten dollar mark. So if you can find it fifty. 50% off, I guess that would be like 60-ish, but whatever. Uh, and y if you can get a four-pack to play with friends, this would be an absolute blast for the night. But if you're playing against AIs, it could probably get a little stale after a little while. That said, I'm probably going to keep playing for one of the uh, one of each faction, and then probably actually get a co-commentator over, just so we can kind of discuss strategy and yell at each other and stuff. So, if you liked this video in any way, shape, or form, uh, please leave me a like, it helps more than you know, and it helps, uh, you know, get the word out there for the game. If you have any questions about, like, anything I missed, didn't talk about, or, you know, want to, uh, bug me up about playing a specific way in the future, you know, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more, either first impressions type gameplay, Armello, or just, uh, me in general, please hit subscribe, because, well, I do a lot of these videos, and, uh, well, you won't be disappointed. And with that... As I was saying much earlier than this, I will see you guys on the next episode of Armello. Where we're probably going to go play as Mercutio. Or the Bear Chick. I don't know. And as always, thanks for watching.